for the past four years. I have been using this Hewlett Packard dock with my Intel powered MacBook Pros as well as Silicon M series to include M1, M2, and M3 Pro MacBooks. And it's working for me uh, quite well. This is the model number and the product number. Currently, I am running uh, Sequoia as my Mac operating system. So let me just say straight off the bat that I do not have a financial relationship with Hewlett Packard, nor do I have any financial relationship with any of their vendors. I merely use this dock because it was the only one that I found during the pandemic and it's working for me quite well. Now there have been several questions regarding does this dock support multiple 4K monitors? And I can tell you that with Intel Power MacBook Pros as well as Silicon Power MacBook Pros, yes, they, it does support multiple 4K monitors. And here's the evidence that you see before you. Okay. And then let's have a look. Let me zoom out and have a look at the YouTube videos on 4K. Switching over to 4K, as you can see before, right before your very eyes. I know this is kind of painstaking, but I just wanted the evidence to show for itself. I'm not doing any cuts whatsoever. And we'll have the video play. I've turned the sound off. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other monitor and then we're going to zoom in on the cog wheel there. As you can see there, it is already on 4K. See that? Okay, I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to play the video. There it is. Okay, so now both video in both monitors are playing 4K. Of course, now I have a commercial playing in the other monitor. It's YouTube, right? You come here to watch the ads. Okay, so there you have it. It's playing 4K in multiple monitors. Now, in my previous videos, uh, you might have noticed that I did not set one of my monitors to 4K. The reason for that is because I'm a software engineer. And um, by the way, I don't. I'm not. Go, I'm not sure what's going on there. That's the supposed to be a safe for work video. That's not within my realm of control, so don't blame me for that. No hate mail, please. Anyway, so the reason in my previous videos where I uh, did not um, have one of my monitor to four K is because I work as a software engineer, and sometimes I do web development, and I have to set the screen the resolution for the front end to what the end users will 
view the app at, and usually that's 1920 by 1080 standard HD. So looking at the finished product in 4K does not do the end users any favor. So in other words, I have to adjust my resolution to what the consumers of my apps are consuming the app in, in terms of their monitors. Now, I've also stated in my other videos that you do not, you do not need this dock if you want to have multiple monitors connected to your MacBook. Um, if you want dual monitors to your MacBook, all you have to do is get um, an HDMI cord and a USB-C cord and you're good to go and you connect monitors, one using HDMI and one using um, uh, USB-C to your MacBook and you're good to go. This dock is only if you have a lot of peripheries, okay? Or if you need to, um, if you work on a Raspberry Pi, if you're doing embedded software and you need a card reader and you have multiple drives, SSD drives, or game controller, headset, keyboards, what have you, okay? Or if you want more than three 4K monitors. Yes, I do have, <laughs> I do rock three 4K monitors. It depends on what what type of application you're developing or you know what what kind of what, whatever you're doing. All right. So once again, I have no financial interest uh, whether you buy this or not. It, it's just something that's worked for me with my Macs and um, I've been very productive with it. Okay, if you like this type of video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.